Hi there, in this video we're going to talk about how to identify conifer or evergreen trees uh, and specifically the ones that grow in the northeastern region of, Amer of the Americas and we're going to do that by grouping these trees into four main categories by the needle. There are four main types of needles which are pretty distinctive um, that uh, kind of grow in this area and uh, so, so we're going to go through those one by one in, those video in this video and talk about which tree those needles belong to. So just to briefly give an overview of what we're going to touch on, the first category of needle is bundled needles, then we'll talk about single sharp needles, third we'll talk about uh, scale-like needles, and then finally we'll talk about flat needles. Okay, so those are the four main categories, and I also just want to mention that um, this identification key is, is roughly based on the Peterson Field Guide to Trees and Shrubs. I've kind of simplified things a little bit to make them simpler and easier to understand, uh, but just so you know where that came from, that's basically what I've learned this from. So with that, let's jump into the first one. So the first category is the bundled needles. So these are pretty easy to tell because you just look at the twig and pull off uh, the needles, and they're not really going to come off one by one, they're going to come off in bunches. So this might be a bunch of two, uh, three, or five needles, and if you find a bundled needle, then the type of tree that you're looking at is very likely a pine, so in most cases it's going to be a type of pine, um, but it could also be a, a larch or tamarack tree. And uh, a larch or a tamarack, though, you can distinguish from the pines because uh, a, a larch slash tamarack actually loses its needles in the fall. So it's, it's one of the few needle trees that drops the needles over winter, um, whereas a pine tree, of course, you can find needles on it all year round. And so if you do find something that's bundled, especially if you're looking at the winter, um, then the type of tree you're looking at is going to be some sort of pine. If you want to distinguish further than that, then there are, of course, differences in different types of pine, um, but that's sort of outside the scope of what we're going to cover in this video. So maybe in the future I'll make another video that goes through the different types of pine, but you can at least identify if it had, has bundled needles, you're looking at a pine tree or a tamarack of some kind. The second type of needle is the single uh, sharp needle. And so these needles aren't bundled, they're just single needles, needles and they're pretty long and they're growing directly off of the twig. And if you find a tree that has uh, that sort of needle, then what you're looking at is, is very likely a spruce tree. In fact, it's almost definitely a, a spruce tree. Like pine, um, there are different categories of spruce, of course, but by looking for that, you can at least know that it's some type of spruce tree. And uh, it's, it's winter right now, Christmas just passed, and so if you find that, you might also be interested to know that most people use spruce trees as Christmas trees. So if you know what a Christmas tree looks like, then it's probably a spruce. The third category of needle is scale-like needles. And so when you look at a scale-like needle um, and you sort of look real closely to it, it looks less like a pointy needle and a little bit more like little plates of something um, growing on itself out to the end. And so it's like a needle, but it kind of looks like fish scales on top of that needle. And uh, sometimes these will look a little bit flatter um, than, than a, a normal like spruce or pine needle as well. And so if you find something that has these scaled needles, then you're going to be looking at a, a cedar or juniper tree of some kind. Um, now just like the previous categories, there are some distinctions between the different types of junipers and cedars, um, but uh, you can at least know that if you find these scaled needles, especially in this area, then it's going to be a cedar of, of some kind or a juniper of some kind. And specifically if you're close to where I am, I'm, I'm in Ohio right now, then odds are it's probably going to be an eastern red cedar tree. So that's the third category. The fourth type of needle are flat needles. And so if you look really closely at the needles in this category, you can tell that they're much flatter. They're not quite as pointy and narrow as some of the other needles. They look a little bit more leaf-like, just a little bit flatter. And if you find a, a, a type of tree that has needles like that, that are flat, then you're going to be looking at a, a different category of tree, which is going to include firs, hemlocks, and also, I believive, bald cypress and, and yew uh, trees. And so there are some distinctions that you can use to, to differentiate between those different trees. And so I'll quickly just kind of describe to you a couple basic ones. So if you find the flat needles and you look at the underside of the needles and you can see two white stripes, then you're going to be looking at something that is either a fir or it's a hemlock. 
And then within that, how you differentiate is you look at the tree and a fir tree is going to have uh, longer cones that stand up on the branches. So they kind of point upwards on the branches. Whereas a hemlock tree has, has cones that are much smaller and kind of ball shaped and hang under the branch. Um, so that goes a little bit beyond the needles. But then also in this flat needle category, if you're looking at uh, the bottom and it doesn't have those two white stripes, then it's either gonna be bald cypress or it's going to be um, you. And the way that you differentiate between those two is if it is, um, you, you pull some of the, the uh, needles away and on the branch where you've removed those needles is uh, smooth, then that's going to be a bald cypress tree. But if it's rough, then it's going to be a, a yew tree. And so that's kind of how you can distinguish between the main trees that are in the flat, uh, flat needle category. So those are the four main categories of needles that you'll find, at least in this region. And uh, I'll also kind of point out a soft fifth category, which are uh, trees that have needles but do not have cones. So one tree that would be in this category, which is an import, um, is a tamarisk tree. Tamarisk trees have needles, but they don't have cones. So that's sort of a distinctive thing as well. But, but anyway, if you are looking at a tree that has needles on it, a conifer tree, and uh, you can tell if it has bundles, if it has scale-like needles, if it has single sharp needles, or if it has flat needles, then you can immediately put it into these four different categories of needles, which should help you get a pretty quick idea of the type of tree, or at least pretty close to the type of tree you're looking at. Um, so I hope you found this helpful, or at least interesting, and if you have, then I uh, encourage you to give this video a like, and uh, if you like videos like this, we post more things that are about tree identification, and also we talk a lot about firewood on this channel. So if you're in that, into that sort of thing, then I encourage you to subscribe to our channel as well, and we hope to see you back here for the next one. Bye everyone.